Now we go to Tennessee where people are warning people who live in the area who do meth. <laughs> this is really weird. Never thought I'd say this. So they're warning people who live in the area in Tennessee not to dump their meth in the toilet. And you're not going to believe why. Are you ready? Here's what police are saying in their official Facebook page. Please don't flush your drugs. Our sewer guys take great pride in keeping the water in our creek clean. And they're also saying the alligators in the creek are being affected. That they're being turned into what authorities there are calling meth gators. <laughs> Here's Trinity Chavez. Law enforcement in Tennessee are warning residents of so-called meth gators. This after police found a man unsuccessfully trying to flush meth down the toilet, as well as other drug paraphernalia. According to the Loretto Police Department, a man was arrested for drug possession, for resale drugs, paraphernalia possession, and tampering with evidence. The department said that improper disposal of substances, including meth and prescription drugs, could allow the substances to get into nearby creeks and waterways, where it can contaminate drinking water consumed by wildlife in the area. The department said in a Facebook post, ducks, geese, and other fowl frequent our treatment ponds, and we shudder to think what one all hyped up on meth would do. Furthermore, if it made it far enough, we could create meth gators in Shout Creek and the Tennessee River down in North Alabama. They've had enough messed up animals the past few weeks without our help. So if you need to dispose of your drugs, just give us a call, and we will make sure they are disposed of in the proper way. However, Kent Bleat, an alligator biologist at the University of Florida, told NBC News he's never heard of an alligator on meth. He said, I've worked with alligators for 40 years, and I generally can answer any questions someone gives me about them. This one's throwing me for a loop. According to the report, Bleat, who is not a veterinarian, said in a study he participated in, in which gators were dosed with antibiotics, the animals had to be injected with the medication rather than orally fed the drug to see a sustained effect. He said, I would guess they might be affected to buy it, but they tend to not react to drugs in the same way we do. And I don't know if it would take a little or a lot to get an alligator to do something on meth. I think it's a ridiculous notion. If you flush meth, it's going to be diluted. Now law enforcement says that if you need to dispose of any medications, they can be disposed of at City Hall in a designated disposal container. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered? anywhere else in Venezuela, Kazakhstan. Let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Wally, Wally, Wally. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watching. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.